Do you remember when I said that our squad was way too big? Well, guess what I did? I made it bigger. I don't know why either, but uh, yeah, roll the intro and let's get into it. Welcome back, friends and foes. Are you crazy here with more FM22, Tottenham, savings, all sorts, all them words. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure that I've been a good boy or whatever, <laughs> however you say it. Uh, yeah, we bought, well, we actually bought, how many players is that? Five players. So admittedly, three of them are like youngsters, right? I mean, I'll quickly show them, but well, there's not there's not much to show. Arajo is a good, good, uh, this is like one of my, my favorite players in this game. He just turns out amazing right And He can play at me, but it's just a, for the future. And I'll explain to you why quickly. I noticed that we haven't, uh, we hadn't, you can buy six under something uh, foreign players a year, right? Every season. And we only did two. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy random youngsters <laughs> to get the quota up because otherwise next season I'll be like, oh, well, can't buy anymore. So I may as well just do that. Sturgio kind of goes with the same thing. Um, I've never had him, so I figured, yeah, you know what, why not? Seven million is pretty cheap. And the reason for that is actually that we sold Mr. Devinson Sanchez, finally. That was uh, quite quite the transfer, 13.25 to Inter. We also sold Mr. Bergwin to Dortmund for also 13, well, 13 and a half, which is just... <sighs> Jack Clark has finally left uh, out on loan, which was more difficult than it should have been. But um, yeah, the important one here, 37 million. We bought Miguel Damsko, or, or as I've renamed him, his new nickname in Denmark is actually Damsinho, just for funsies. Uh, yeah, he's just incredible. And after the uh, Euro Cup he had, I, I wanted to give him a bit of a chance. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the squad. And uh, hmm, hmm, pretty exciting. And uh, as you can see, we've been flying through the save. I basically wanted to finish January um, with the transfers and all that. And uh, yeah. And now we finally have some time to actually sit down and play. I mean, the last time we met was actually versus Arsenal. That is ages ago. It's two months ago. We smashed them. Uh, we then beat United uh, away, which was incredible. Like, I, I, I can't remember. But it was uh, a bit of a snatch and grab, right? And uh, wins versus Watford, Norwich, etc., etc., etc. Draw, drew, to, drew, draw, Leicester. It's not great. In the Carabao semi-final cup, uh, we actually smashed City. Like, we drew 1-1 one, one away. Uh, where we actually had, yeah, we had a red card in the 70, oh, okay, 76, okay. I thought it was a lot earlier, but nah, oh, it was this match. Oh, my God. But uh, yeah, then we smashed them at home 3-0. That was a really, really good game. So we are now in the final where we play Blackburn, which is a bit strange. We'll do that next episode. Why not? Um, and um, other than that, we smashed West Ham. That was good. And then we drew to Liverpool away. Now, I will say, you, you're noticing that I mean, by all means, I'm just going to show you the whole thing, like the stats. So they got a man sent off at 51 minutes, right? Where are the stats? They finished with 22 shots, 8 on target. When they had the red card, they already had 17 shots, and we had 0. So it's safe to say we were getting battered. They had 17 shots, 7 on target, I remember that. And then <laughs> they got a man sent off, and uh, yeah, it was, oh my god, it was... What a match. I mean, I definitely should have showed it, but it was terrible. Oh, my Lord, I was angry. Just watching us pass them the ball, like their goal, 85 minutes, they go 2-1 up, even though they're man down. They did scrape a 2-1 in the 94th minute, a, he a header after a corner from Hoybia. It was like, oh, my Lord. And yeah, as you can maybe notice, I've also finally installed a skin because I'm frankly just annoyed with SI and it just doesn't bloody work, the, the standard one, which is really annoying because I, I prefer the, the default one. I love the design of it, but it just work. Like, it's so many bugs and crap. Like, oh, SI, like, seriously, when are they actually going to fix this bloody game instead of just adding more bugs? <sighs> what's up, what's up, what's up? Anyway, then we drew versus West Ham away. Really annoying, this one. It had, like, God knows how many click cut chances, but, um, yeah. But today we're going to play Newcastle and then Manchester City, both of them at home. So there should be a little bit of a chance, but uh, this is the squad we're going to do today. It's going to be Lloris, Royal, Sule, Romero, Regulon, Hoybia, Bellingham, Rafinha, 
Son, Kane, and then Damzinho is actually going to play in the middle. Um, I have been playing Harry Kane in there, and then Martial up front, but Martial have been crap the last like three or four matches, so actually I'm just going to do it like this. Kane up to his usual front, and then Damzinho in behind him. Right, and we are live, 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 I guess. Uh, for anyone not uh, interested, uh, the manager for Newcastle is actually Eric Ten Hag. And a uh, bit of a curious one, I guess. Uh, usually it's Brendan Rodgers, right? But in this one, they, they went with Ten Hag. It's pretty funny because Brendan Rodgers has just been sacked by Leicester <laughs> in the save. So, mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, the Newcastle board are incredible at making foresight or something. I have no idea, but... Uh, yeah, let's just actually focus on the match at hand, uh, because, frankly, why not? Oh, of course, they have Mr. Eric Dyer, who actually is Dyer, uh, so that's fun. Um, I will say Damsinho, we played in the FA Cup, we played versus Preston, right? They were, like, bottom of the championship, and Damsinho scored a great goal, and then three assists, that was his debut for the club, so that's why I'm kind of persisting with him, otherwise he maybe wouldn't have started, but with Martial's dip in form, and then... <sighs> What on earth was that? Can we can we start trying or something? What is happening? 60% possession to Newcastle. What the actual fuck is going on? Sorry for swearing all the time nowadays, but what? Like, turn on the camera and then this. I mean, okay, at least we, could, we can score goals. What's, is it even going to count? Uh, let's see if it counts. Of course, now I can't cheat anymore. I mean, not cheat, but like I can't see if it is going to count or not automatically because of the skin but i think it counts like at least i haven't uh, discovered any like tells yet but uh, well, maybe we'll get there as newcastle also go close can we like try and keep the ball for a bit like let's pass it pass it around pass pass get yeah i mean it's getting up there cross from well it went in rafinha with the assist i definitely did this. was it even a header or was it like more of a volley kind of type can we get rid of oh, it just was a header like i was just i don't know blind or something right well so far so good i suppose i mean <clears throat> all we're seeing is this randomly newcastle having the ball but oh no lucas mora of course he's gonna score in this and yeah they have raul jimenez he's also kind of interesting um so jen how are they actually doing they're eighth in the league right now newcastle so not too bad, and we're we're in fifth. <laughs> um, yeah, you might be winning, but yeah, yeah, you weren't that bad. Blah 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 blah. Let's just say that. Get the second half kicked off, and yeah, we are fifth, but only one point behind City and United for that matter. Actually, Chelsea are up there. I haven't looked at the TT table for quite a while, or when I do, I focus on my own team. Uh, Liverpool are kind of running away with this. It's weird that United, they were, Liverpool and United were neck and neck at some point. But. Holy moly, finally a highlight in this half, uh, as Emerson just throws it straight to Dubravka. Not quite the routine we were hoping for, but maybe it was all part of the plan. We were luring them into making a mistake. Son, go on, lad. <gasps> Damsinho almost gets it, but he got blocked. But Rafinha gets it. Ninth goal of the season. I would say he has been quite the quite the buy like player he's definitely gonna win like signing of the season i feel like so it was what was it did i say seventh goal of the season or what was it ninth he, he's also on the on the list of assist makers uh, and he got an assist today as well but yeah i'm just waffling i'm gonna make a change nah do you know what dane scarlet up front anyone that could actually rafinha big enough he's actually gonna die let's just make a trip oh, change as i'm losing my voice as well skip on for hype yeah Oh, I just had to do loads of coughing there, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Don't don't worry about me. Right, let's praise because it's yes, we've been over this. We've been over it. Oh, City are playing Liverpool actually, and they're drawing. Oh, United are drawing away to Villa as well. That is curious. I think what the actual fudge that hit the bar like three times or something, didn't it? What a shot from Willock. Oh, it does not go in, and there we go. Full time, 3 0 victory. Yay! I mean, pretty straightforward, right? Oh, what did I say? Don't get complacent now. Is that good? Is that good? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? 
that is good and now i guess i can show you real quick like premier division so actually he's top of the average rating and he's top of that one now as well hmm curious curious so really good from him mr rafinha having quite the season and i feel like he was injured for a little bit i mean he's played 18 matches how many yeah 24 so pretty good stuff for him but uh yeah let's fast forward and play city and get some revenge hopefully right it's city time and uh literally the same team except for one change uh i accidentally promised mr romero that he that i was going to give him a break just autopilot thing and uh he, he he really wanted that so i'm going to keep that promise he is proper knackered anyways so although i don't really want to change anything especially in defense or the city right i feel all right with rodon coming in <clears throat> but um other than that lafinia is a little knackered Sul is a little knackered i don't want to change too much let's just let's just smash these fools right well interestingly they're playing fidan torres up front is he, he is proper winger right i mean that's how i remember him but he, he can play up there i guess but uh, i don't know i don't really know what to think of that but of course they love playing like a false nine anyway so it almost doesn't matter right who they put up there but um yeah like i said in the free whatever preview or whatever we did smash them in the cup but of course that's not quite the same i, I will say that they put up, pretty much put out their strongest 11 in the at least the second match and in the first match it's only really the the goalkeeper they changed but and we we played like the kids like fandy ford has been playing all cup and he will play the final as well which is going to be well, later today for me, it might even be later today as well on the on the bloody YouTube. Might do a, a sneaky double upload because, well, I don't really know why, but um, why not? <clears throat> but there's only like one match in between, and I really want to just crack on and play because uh, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Even though <laughs> most episodes it doesn't look like I'm enjoying it a lot. It, it is pretty fun. It's pretty fun. As speaking of fun, what a one incredible first half that was um yeah just keep going i guess i mean go do changes or whatever <laughs> rodon is actually injured i remember it popped up as i was talking but i just it the, my brain didn't register it right even though i did see it it was like i was just chatting away but, uh, so yeah thanks for the chat uh it's nice to open up like that i i feel rejuvenated and i don't know as ooh, hello hello uh, I have it. Like, that's been happening quite a bit. How you be able now? <clears throat> like, there's pretty much the same goal as the versus Liverpool one where we scraped a 2 2. As you can't see it because of the thingy, but yeah, good good job. Great little job. This skin is a bit annoying. Like, this is triggering my OCD. Why is the AMC down here? Yeah, it should be up here, right? Ooh, my OCD. Uh, speaking of OCD, let's probably make some changes because we actually have players that may die um do one at a time i think so what was that benedetti for rafinha yep and then i'm gonna put doherty we have doherty on the bench right yes we do on for emerson uh praise the lads damsinho can come off and instead we will put steady alley why not oh the confirmed changes is still here that is annoying I thought the skin would have fixed that one. As all sorts of going on. Nowhere, actually. Nothing. Literally nothing is going on. But, oh, no. Come on. Not like this. It's been four minutes. We're going, getting close to five. You've, oh, Loris. Oh, I was 100% sure. Blow the whistle, Rev. Blow the whistle. You are. Blow the whistle. Blow that. Thank you. They were trying to do a dirty there, them Manchester City mugs, trying to, I don't know, cheat and do all sorts. But he actually managed to win. I mean, we played pretty well. Um, I, I, I assume, because we didn't see any highlights, right? So I just assume we played really well. But um, uh, we're playing well. Let's continue. Sure, whatever. Just click buttons and hope for the best. So whoa, we're now into third. Into third not too shabby at all i mean it's so tight still even arsenal can still get into the battle at least the you know the fourth spot battles i mean liverpool are pretty much starting to run away with it but you never know you never know um uh, at the bottom 
Everton are really, really struggling in this one. They actually just sacked Rafa Benitez. And who did they get in? I, I forget. I think it was, was it Ben? No, okay. Frank Lampert. Well, but Benitez then went somewhere else. I can't even remember, but um, whatever. And um, yeah, that was a quite a successful episode. I'm actually quite shocked. But uh, yeah, Whew. no, no funny business, no red cards, a little bit of an injury, but one to two days. I can live with that. I can live with that. Right. Well, um, like I said, we have a cup final in like a week time or something. And uh, yeah, back for that. So uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe and all that. And until uh, next time.